Hello guys, Shabazz here from Shabazz Tech Tips. So in today's video we're going to learn how to root our Android device. So as I mentioned earlier in the last video that I'll be showing you guys how to root your Android device. So in this video I'll be using Samsung Galaxy S2 to root. So uh, before I proceed further uh, with routing, I'm going to have to give you guys a disclaimer that uh, if, if you don't know what exactly you're going to do, please do not proceed further you guys have to go online and gather all the information about your phone because if you don't have the proper information about your phone and if you and if you flash different file on your phone your phone will be bricked you guys will be end up breaking your phone so if you break your phone it's difficult to unbreak your phone until and unless you have the proper knowledge of what exactly you're about to do so please don't do not proceed further if you guys have the right files for your phone please go to XDA developers website and gather all the information about your phone gather all the files which are required for you to root then proceed further and root your android device yes so there are uh, advantages as well as disadvantages of rooting your android device first of all rooting is uh, a process which helps you to get most out of your phone like you can first of all uh, increase the uh, clock rate of your process of the uh, processor like a uh, you can actually increase the clock rate of the processor for mobile phone to be more precise by using the root access as well as you'll be able to install custom ROMs as well as you can uh, run the applications which will require root access you're gonna have to go ahead and download the folder which I mentioned in the description so there will be few files in that folder so you can have to download that folder by clicking on the link down there so once you download the folder just make a separate folder uh, and save that folder inside that folder that will actually help you to uh, you know locate your folder whenever it's necessary so that's it guys so without any further ado let's get started and root our android phones so the first step will be you're gonna have to go ahead and shut down the phone turn off my phone first <clears throat> so let me just go ahead and power off my phone uh, as I get this message I'm gonna click on power off and I'm gonna click on ok so yes so my phone is powering off. Be careful because there, you know, once you see the black screen on the display of the phone, your phone is still on because if you can see the two lights, two buttons, uh, which still has got lights on it, so that means your phone is still on. So it's under process of getting, you know, shut down. So yes, so it's shut down now. So after your phone is uh, turned off, we're gonna have to press three buttons together. First will be the power button. Second will be the volume down button here and third will be the home button here so you're gonna have to press three of these button together just keep it pressed so once you keep it pressed it's gonna give you the move uh, it's gonna give you kind of warning with uh, exclamation mark with a ye yellow triangle at the button so so I'm gonna press the volume up key to continue because we wanna go to the download mode so yes once you press this you will see this blue uh, you'll see this green Android robot with a downloading alphabet at the bottom like it will show that the uh, phone is under downloading mode now so once you see this just keep down the phone and go to the computer so the files which you've downloaded you, it might have the Samsung USB driver in it so you're gonna have to run the setup to install USB driver for Samsung so once the USB driver is installed properly in your phone uh, in your computer I'm sorry so in your computer if once your once the USB driver is installed properly in your computer you're gonna have to connect the USB cable to your phone so as soon as you connect the USB cable to your phone you're gonna have to open the Odin so once you see that yellow com port box that means your phone is properly connected to your computer so you're gonna have to click on PDA once you click on PDA, it will ask you to, uh, you know, pick up the file which you want to flash in your phone. So I'm gonna have to select, uh, you know, so I'm gonna select JBoo kernel, uh, which I want to. It's, it's a tar file which we are uh, about to flash in our phone. So once I select that, I'm gonna have to press, uh, click on open. So once I click on open, it will like, it will give me the option to start so I'm gonna click on start once the file starts flashing in my phone you'll see the blue color line at the bottom of the screen that means the kernels are getting flashed once the flashing is over it will give me the box uh, like uh, first the box will turn into dark blue and then into green that means the and it's give you it will give you the message that the flashing is passed so that means your phone is being 
uh, rooted now because the kernels have been flashed properly and your phone will be restarted so once you see the Samsung logo there will be a you know yellow rectangle I mean yellow triangle with an exclamation mark at the bottom here that means your phone is flashed I mean that means your phone is rooted properly so it's not rooted 100% like it is just 80% which we have done now so once your phone reboots uh, we'll have to check in the application so we, we have to check in the application whether we have a super user app installed in our phone because until unless we don't have the super user app installed in our phone we won't be able to get the super user access uh, for uh, the applications as well as for our phone so we're gonna have to first check whether we have the super user icon and I'm gonna go to the S alphabet so it will be here at the right next to this drag and drop this uh, CWM super user uh, zip file into your so, so you're gonna have to go to your computer so there will be a file in the folder which you downloaded the file name will be CWM super user SW dot zip so you're gonna have to copy that file from the folder which you downloaded and you're gonna have to paste that file in your external storage just make a separate folder in your external storage card which is inside your phone and just uh, drag and drop this uh, CWM super user uh, zip file into your external storage once you copy that just power off your phone so I'm gonna power off my phone now once the phone is powered off you have to repeat the same step which we did earlier like uh, uh, by pressing three buttons you have to press the power button you have to press the home button but this time instead of pressing the volume down key we're gonna have to press the volume up key so volume up key power key and the home key together so I'm gonna press that three of these buttons together so let me just press this these three but let me just press these three buttons so once you keep it pressed your phone will be started so once you see the Samsung logo you're gonna have to release the power button but don't release the home button we have to keep it pressed in order to go to the recovery screen so this is your recovery screen you will see the blue alphabets on a black screen and it's like a it will be like a circle thing here at the bottom so this is your recovery screen now from here uh, if you want to navigate uh, to different, uh, if you want to navigate to different options, you're gonna have to use the volume rocker key, like volume up and volume down key. So if you want to, uh, you know, come down, like if you want to move down, you're gonna have to press the volume down key, and if you want to move up, you're gonna have to press the volume up key. So and, and in order to select, in order to go for a particular um, you know, option, you're gonna have to press the power key to select that option. So first, I'm gonna go to, uh, you know, uh, install zip. So just pr I'm just gonna you know uh, highlight that by pressing volume down key and coming down. So I'm gonna press the power button in our the first option here is phones storage. This is my external storage. The power button in order to go inside that I've copied the super user zip file in all updates. So I'm gonna go to all update and press the power button file here. So I'm gonna come on here. I'm gonna highlight that and press the power button. Okay. So here, so now again, I'm gonna have to use the volume rocker, the down volume down key, and come on this. It will take just like three to four seconds for the zip file to be flashed. So now I think that yeah, I, I see that my zip file has been, the zip file has, has been successfully flashed. So I'm gonna have to go back by clicking on the back button here, and then I am gonna have to come up here on the first option, and I'm I'm gonna have to press the power button to reboot my phone. Yes, so I'll see this Samsung Galaxy logo once again. Yellow rectangle with an exclamation mark here at the bottom. That means things are properly, you know, installed. So now we have to go to the applications and check whether we've got the super user icon there, our super user logo there. Yes, we do see that we have a small Android Superman robot, Android robot Superman kind of icon there. So that means I've installed super user in my phone and now I can gain the super user root access like now I can get the root access of my phone so if I ins install any third-party software like ES file explorer is one of the very good example which asks you for the super user access so if you want to go to your phone's uh, root directory it will gonna ask you to grant the super user access to your phone as well as uh, the routing procedure 
for any of the Samsung Fold will be somewhat similar what I did here you will have to use the Odin flasher you will have to use the files which will be different the only thing which will differ is the files that will be uh, you know that will be that will be a big difference because the files which are required to get the root access for my phone and the files which are there to get root access for your phones will be totally different so please do not do this if you're using some other phone this is only for Samsung Galaxy S2 so thanks a lot guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe this video if you like this video and uh, yeah peace